Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Jonathan Torres. I'm a computer support technician. And today I want to do a introduction tutorial on a docking station and how to connect it to your monitor. I'll also go through some adapters that are needed, the different cables, and kind of go through every single port that's on the docking station to give you an overview and maybe some information that might help you to connect your single or dual monitor. Now we're not going to go through the whole boot up process. I'm just giving you options of cables, which ones to connect to which, and adapters, which is a big one for you. So let's get started first with the docking station. And then what I'll do is go through each cable and what I recommend first. So this docking station is not that old, but there's some newer ones out there. So disregard this kind of option. Some docking stations might not have all these option ports or uh, connections here, but for the most part, you might have these connections on your monitor. So let's just go through the basics. The first one that I would look at first is the one to the right. First here, this is a small little connection for your headphones and microphone. This would work if you have maybe like headphones that came with your iPhone or Samsung or Android, or you might have some that have a microphone. This would probably work with it. I personally wouldn't recommend it, but if that's all you have, and especially if you have it docked and you're in a meeting, the microphone's gonna pick up from the laptop. So you definitely wanna get a cable here, at least uh, for headphones, or just get a USB cable with a headphone or another option, whatever you prefer. Many people are going Bluetooth. So this first port here is VGA. My monitor here does have it. A lot of older televisions and monitors have this connection here. And if this is all you have, you need the similar connection, which would be in blue here, which you see is the VGA cable. So that looks exactly how you see there. You just connect it from one side here, connect it to the other one on the uh, monitor, and that's your first monitor connection. I personally wouldn't recommend this. This is the last solution. The reason why is the quality you will see not gonna be as sharp as the other connections here. The next one we have is a DVI, DVI connection. This is similar to a better quality of the VGA. So this is something that I would recommend if this is all you have. If, let's say if you have these two, this is the one I would recommend next. But this is the cable that you would need. You can see the connections here plug in one side here, the other side of the cable plug into your monitor. I'll go through explaining, well, I don't have that connection on my monitor. What do I have? What do I need? Vice versa. I'll show you through the monitor, the, the adapters in just one second. The next we have is a display port. You can see there's two of them here. This is display port, HDMI, then another display port. So this is the first that I recommend when I'm setting up my stations for dual monitors. This is the cable you would need. You need a display port to display port connection. Now, again, I'll show you some options if this is not what you have, but if this is, you have a newer monitor, this is what I would recommend to go with. You can see it has the click on there, just plug it in, the other end plug into the monitor. And then you get the second cable, plug it into your second monitor there. Now, one thing that we, most people have at home is an HDMI cable, and they're using their old maybe TV or spare TV or monitor. This is the first one that I would recommend because most people have this at home. Plug it into HDMI, plug it into HDMI. Some, again, monitors do have that option. Plug it right in there, and you're good to go. Very simple to do. One thing before I go through the other ports here, so you're asking, how do I connect multiple cables? Plug in one display port first if you have it, plug it into your monitor, plug in the second one to your secondary monitor. Uh, you can actually get a third if you want if you have HDMI or this. Um, but for the most part, this is how you would plug in that right through there. This connection here is for the power. One thing you gotta make sure what I've had somebody will say is that, hey, it's not powering on or something's happening. People would get mixed up and use their actual laptop power cable uh, brick and not the one that came with the docking station, which requires more power. So definitely make sure you have the right one from there. This is to connect your internet via cable. This is ethernet port. I would recommend this if you're close to your router, you get more reliable connection and sometimes faster speeds than some of the wireless ones. These three ports here, this blue ones are faster than the 2.0, this is 3.0. Sometimes printers will not work in these. So if you're finding that you're seeing, hey, something's not working, it was working last time, maybe you moved the setup, definitely try to put your ports for your printers on the gray ones, which are somewhat slower, but unfortunately some printers have that. So you can see here, this would be just an example of a printer cable. You would plug in one side here, this would go into your printer. Now again, these things are, are not 
all one size fits all but hopefully this can get, provide you with like some overview of what it looks like on the back so this is where you plug in your usb cable um, for your mouse and keyboard personally i would recommend to go maybe bluetooth or you know wireless but uh wired is always reliable obviously for that the last port here so most people like myself i would just plug in like my charging cable for my phone plug it in right through here it gives you that expect that port for that so you have one two three four five six ports here these i would use it for any fast connections this is maybe for your keyboard and mouse or printer and obviously you have the rest for that there so on to the adapters so this is where things can get a little bit not complicated but it definitely can get confusing the most important adapters i'm going to show you are these two right here you also have another adapter for you there but this is one of the most important ones that i would recommend and there's tons out there but this is like the one that i noticed where people have some um setups whether there's a pc laptop uh, docking station this is a dvr uh sorry yeah dvi to display port sorry so now you can see this is the dvi which is the connection there for the white one you plug it in here so you're going to say well i don't have you know one of these ports on my monitor that's where you have to kind of figure that out and say okay where do i have the connection so let's pretend you can see here this monitor does not have a dvi connection but i have a display port i need to plug in this here Okay, so you can see we're gonna plug in this DVI into the docking station first. And now we're gonna take the display port and plug it into the monitor. So that's your first monitor setup. So let's say if you have a really old monitor and you need to connect the VGA cable, and this is the only one you have. The next adapter we have is very popular too. I would recommend it. Uh, I like going with StarTech because they, they're pretty reasonable. They give, some of them give like two or three year warranties. Some adapters are lifetime depending. They've been pretty reliable. So you can see this is DisplayPort to VGA. So you can see one thing on my monitor. Um, again, it has a VGA. We're not, that is all set. We're just gonna keep that alone. And we're going to plug first the display port now to the docking station. You can plug into any of these two here. That's fine. I don't think there's a particular order. Uh, sometimes if you find it's not working, you just switch it to the other one or restart your computer. So now this would go into another monitor. Let's just pretend it's on this side and that's already plugged in. So now you have one cable going to the first monitor, the second one going to the second monitor. And you can do a third one if you wanted to. If you have the, the ports available, sometimes your computer would support it. Let's just pretend you have a TV, you have HDMI, just plug it right in. And then this one go to your television on this side here. But that's just a quick tutorial, just a quick introduction of how the docking station is, when ports are available, what adapters. The last adapter I'll go through, most people might not need it, but it might work out well, because let's say if you have a new TV that doesn't have VGA, DisplayPort, or any of that, and all you have is HDMI, this would be the adapter to go to. This is an HDMI to DVI. Again, you can find different cables for what you need, but these are the things that I would recommend. So you can see here is the DVI, which is the white cable, and your HDMI would plug into your television there. But that's just a quick, quick tutorial. Hopefully this provided you guys some, some troubleshooting. When in doubt, when you plug it in, sometimes the things might not align right or it might not display right. Just restart your computer, keep everything on and plugged in, and it should be all set. Last but not least, obviously power. Some people confuse that. You got to make sure you have the right power cable or cable for that. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now you can see this is a very inexpensive cable. This is the power cable that you will need for your monitor. And that's what it looks like, and you just plug it right in. So 
sometimes these things can actually sip out. Um, I've seen it many times, and, and especially if you're turning your monitor or moving it, these things can easily slip out um, and it can lose power. So make sure if you're having issues where it's not powering on, just check that first thing. That's one of the biggest things I always check when I uh, help my clients. So hopefully this has just helped you out. If you liked it, definitely leave some comments. If you want to see something like this again, let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you. Again, this is Jonathan Torres, Computer Support Technician. Thank you.